Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our science class. So today is Sunday and the date is the 3rd of October 2021. Previously, last week, we were talking about environment. And we said environment means all the living and non-living around you. So whatever is around you, they make a environment. Each place is a different environment. For example, you have your room environment or the classroom environment or the forest environment. So they can be very different. It depends on the living and non-living around you. This is an environment. But there is another word we call it ecosystem. Ecosystem can be different from an environment. How? In an ecosystem, also you can find the living and the non living all in one place. But what do they do with each other? Who can tell me? Now raise the hand if you want to tell me. Yes, Yelene. Yes. What do they do with each other? All the living and non-living all together in an ecosystem. They? Yes. They in interact. With each other. With Excellent. Why they interact with each other? So they can? And they can live. Excellent, so they can live or survive. Well done. Yes, Yelene. Can I answer? Yes, yeah, sure. So, in one ecosystem, all the living things, they need each other and non-living. How? Can you explain to me a little bit? What do you see? Tell me the living things that you see in this picture. Miss, can you repeat what you said? Because it was glitching because my internet is slow. Okay, Eli. Tell me what are the living things you see in this picture? Living things? Mm-hmm. Uh, living things that mean that are in the water or out? As you like. Only in the water you have living things. What about out? All the living things in this yeah. area. Uh, Okay, I know a lot. I know a lot. I know. Okay, tell me. The trees, mm -hmm. the plants. Excellent. The little boy, the fish. Very good. And down there is the uh the sea the what yes. is it called? The sea weed. The sea the, sea, the... Yes. The sea what? Weed. The sea is weed. Okay, we call it seaweed. Excellent. These are the living. Mm -hmm. Hi, Aline. What are the non living now? Mm -hmm. Who can tell me what are the non living? Yes, Elamar. Non living is the sun. And even uh, water, and even and even uh, uh, the rocks, and and the sun, and something down there is brown. Soil. The soil, excellent. All together, they make ecosystem. Why? Ecosystem because they are they are all together. They interact with each other. They need each other to live because the fish needs the water to survive. The seaweed needs the soil to survive and the boy needs the fish to eat. So all together, they interact and they make an ecosystem. This ecosystem, do you know what ecosystem we call? This ecosystem is on the pond. This is a pond. And the ecosystem of the pond is when the uh, boy eats the fish, 
and the fish eat from the plant down there. Yes, ya batul. Ha habib. Miss, can I answer? Yes, Habibi, I can't ask a question. Not yet. I will let you answer, Imam. All right. And we have types of ecosystem. We learned about the ocean, the forest, the desert, and the grassland. Today, we are going to talk more about them. Before we talk about the ecosystem, who can tell me what is this? Huh. This word mean what? You see a malak. Okay, malak is not here. Maybe she went for uh, water or bathroom. You see a batul. What do you see I'm a batul? Okay, in a minute, ya malak. Okay, after batul, you will answer. Do not close your mind. You see a batul. Yes, miss. What do you see? What? What I? What do what you I see? see? Mm -hmm. I can see a desert, mm -hmm. the ocean, mm -hmm. the forest. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... When I tell you that these are the spaces where some animals live, what do we call these spaces? We call it with a word. What is it? The space where an animal lives, what do we call it? I can't what it's called. Hi, Amala. Can you help your friend? What do we call the space that animals live in? Habitat. Excellent. It's a habitat. Well done. Very good. So, again, Yabatul, what do we call the space that an animal lives in? A habitat. Excellent, Ya Batul. Excellent, Ya Malik. Thank you very much. Close your mics, please. All right. When there is a group of the same kind of an animal, a group of the same kind of an animal, group of lions and only lions, what do we call it? Group of lions and only lions, yeah, Maryam. What do we call it? Yes, miss. A group of lions and only lions, one type or one kind of living thing. What do we call it? It's so easy, Miss. It says. Okay, tell me what do we call? It? Huh? Pop population. Population. <clears throat> Excellent. We call it population. Now, yeah, Jada. Thank you, Mariuma. Close your mic. Jada, a group yes. of a different kind or types of animals, like this one. Please do not draw on my screen, yeah, Habaibi. What do we call it? Community. Excellent. Excellent. So a group of lions, zebras, rhinos, and elephants, we call them a community. Excellent, a community. So you know the difference between a population and a community. Very good. One living thing, Yayara, makes what? Only one living thing. Yes, miss. One living thing, what do we call it? It makes what? An? An organism. An organism. Excellent, Yayara. Again, Yayara. If I have one group of the same kind of living thing, what do I say? A population. Excellent, population. Close your mic, ya habibi. What if I have different kinds of animals in the same group? Hi, Amunia. Different kinds of animals in the same group. All together, what do they make? 
Community. Excellent. They make a community. Well done. And if I have the living things and non-living things in one place, they interact with each other. They need each other. What do I call them, ya dunya? Dina. Living and non-living together. What do they make? Eco. Eco. Mm -hmm. System. Ecosystem. All the living and non-living in one area they call ecosystem and they interact with each other. All right. All right, girls. Today we are going to learn about the different kinds of ecosystems. Take a look at this example. What do you see? Who can tell me? What do you see? Hi, huh, yeah, Rita. Where is Ritan? I just saw you. Okay, Ritan. What do you see in this picture over here? I see a bird. Mm -hmm. What about the place? That and, I see, bird? Mm -hmm. and I see some flowers. I see some mountains. I see some trees. I see some grass. I see some brown things on the grass. Excellent, excellent. Well done, Yaritan. Okay. This place, we call it the mountains. What do we call this place, Yataline? Hi, Yataline. Okay, hi, Juri. What do I call this place, Juri? Yes, miss. What do I call this place in this picture? Uh, Is it the place? desert? No. Is it the ocean? Also, no. It's the it's the the ecosystem. On where the ecosystem? Mountain. Where mountain? Yes. So today, the first example about ecosystem we are going to learn about the ecosystem in the mountains. Okay. On the mountains, what do you think? Is it cold or hot? It's cold because uh, when it's uh, when you are up high, it's always cold. Excellent. Thank you, Judy. Thank you, Judy. Now, yeah, Lee. What are Lee? Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. What are yes, the type to... of animals that they live? On the mountains. The type of animals that live in the mountains? Yes. Ecosystem? <laughs> okay. But we are learning about the ecosystem in the, on the mountains. So we are going to talk about the living and the non-living things on the mountains. What can you mm -hmm. find on the mountains, living and non-living? Tell me about it. Living and non-living? Yes. What are the non-living things on the mountain? On the mountain? Yeah. Uh, ecosystem. The snow. Okay. The, snow, the, the mountain. Excellent. And the, the soil. The air. Yeah. The, what about the, the, um, the living sun. things? Living thing, mm. um, the trees, the grass, the the flowers, the birds. Excellent. Do you know what kind the... of animal that lives on the mountain? Who lives on the mountains? Horses. Uh, 
fish? No. So, no. who lives on the mountain? Uh, who lives on the mountains? It's like the bear, the bears. Yes, some kind of bears. They live near the mountains. Excellent, Yeli. Yeah. Yes, well done, well done. Miss, Thank can you. I tell you something? Can I tell you something? Yes, I want to tell you something. Okay, quickly, because we don't have time for uh, okay. uh, the rest of the lesson. Huh, Habib? Because the internet is so slow, so oh, because when because uh, your voice just keeps cutting, the internet is so slow in my house because we're all connecting to my dad's phone. It's fine, Habib. It's okay. It's really I slow. Think, I think you can hear me now. Is that right? I'll listen. I'll listen. Not really. Okay. All right. If you miss anything, you can always go to the recorded session. Okay, dear. Now, you see, Alien. Ha huh, Habibi. Miss also the goats live in the mountains. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. Well I done. Don't. Okay. This bird called a stellar jay. This stellar jay, it lives in the mountains. It uses some materials that it can find in this environment to build their nest. Also, they find food in this environment. What about mountain goats and pine trees? Where can you find them? You can find them also near the mountains. This tree is called a pine tree. You can only find a pine tree where? Near the mountain. And most of the year, near the mountains, it's very, very cold. All right, girls? This is all about the mountains ecosystem. What about this picture? This ecosystem in where? Is this the forest? Or this the grassland? Or this the ocean? Ha! Huh. Hiya, Judy. Where, where do you think this is? Uh, this place? It's a desert ecosystem. Excellent, the desert ecosystem. Now, yeah, but will tell me, how is the weather in the desert ecosystem? Uh, very hot. Very hot. And do you know someone who lives in the desert? Yeah. Okay, tell The me. camel. The camel. Excellent. Camels lives in the desert. Also, we have some types of plants like cactus. They live in the desert. Also, we have the elf owl. This is the elf owl. Look at the elf owl. Remember when I said when living things and non-living things in one place, they interact and they need each other to survive. We call it an ecosystem. Now, what makes the desert ecosystem? Take a look at this elf owl. This elf owl needs these cactus to survive. How? There are some small insects who live on these cactus. Who will eat them? The elf owl. So the elf owl will look for these insects to eat them. They need each other or one another to survive. This is about the desert ecosystem. What do you see in this picture? What do you see in this picture? Who can tell me? Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Jenna. Hi, Jenna. What do you see in this picture? I see a fish. Excellent. You see a fish. Where does this fish live? In the sea. In the sea or the ocean. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Rosanna, what else? Only fishes? What do you see? What else do you see? I see seaweed. Excellent, seaweed. Coral. Corals, well done, well done. All together, they make up the ocean ecosystem because they need each other to survive. What about the water in the ocean ecosystem, Yayara? Is it fresh water or salt water? 
salt water. Excellent. It is salt water. Well done. Well done. So this huge underwater ecosystem is made by tiny ocean animals. We call it corals. Can you see the corals? They have different uh, colors and shapes, and they are very, very beautiful. What about this kind of fish? We call this fish a clownfish. The clownfish uses the animal so they can have it as a shelter. So when I tell you about the clownfish habitat, what is it? It is the animal, the sea animals. Why? Because this is the space where clownfish live. All right. Now, what about this picture? Hi, Adania. What do you see in this picture? I see an otter. Excellent. This is otter. Well done. Where does this otter live? It lives in the river. Excellent. Excellent, Adania. Excellent. Thank you, Adania. Now, who oh. can tell me? What about the water in this uh, river? Is it fresh water or salt water? Hi, Yasadeen. Are you here, Yasadeen? Yes. Okay. The water in this river, is it fresh or salt? Fresh. Huh? Fresh. Excellent, fresh water. Okay. The fresh water is non-living and the otter is a living thing. Both of them, they uh, interact with each other. How does this otter survive in the river? Do you have any idea? Okay, I think she muted her mic. Who wants to answer? How does this otter survive in the river? Hi, Alien. Um, he, he need to swim. He need to get water. Okay, it needs to swim. What else? And and uh, and if he, if he and if he if he didn't um join the water, he will get dry and he will die. Okay, not really, Lian. Let's see, Batul. What does she have to say? But it lives in water. Yes, that's right. Correct. Okay. Yes, miss. Hi, Abatul. How does this otter survive in the water? It needs what? He needs he need lungs, I mean, gills, and, and I got the last name, what they call it. Okay. It will build the shelter next to river where it can swim and catch what for food fish yes excellent it will catch fish for food so this otter lives near the river why it will make its shelter over there so they can find their food or catch their food easily so we talked about the desert the ocean the river the mountain ecosystems there are more guys there are a lot more but uh, also there are a, a grassland ecosystem who can talk to me about the grassland ecosystem who lives there i need to see you guys tell me who lives there ya Maryuma? yes who lives there in the grassland ecosystem okay the grassland uh, the mountain habibi grassland ecosystem grassland means that you will find only grass in on a land who lives over there who needs the grass to live i think i don't remember Take a look at this picture. What do you see? What are these? Who lives on the grassland? Hi, Miriam. Sheep. Yes, excellent. They need grass to eat to survive. Hi, yeah. Who else? Let me see. 
Who else? Do you see a Jenna? Who else? Who lives on the grassland? Yes, none. Um, Only sheep? No. What are the animals in these pictures? What are the animals in this picture? What do you see? Come on, guys. Come on, come on, guys. Habibi. Okay, Jenna, I think she closed her mic. Yes, Yaleen. A goat. A goat, excellent. Uh, is this a goat? No, this is a kind of ox. Excellent. What else, yeah, Batul? What do you see? That. An ox and I can what see else? A deer. A deer. A deer. Excellent. A deer. a deer. Very good. All these animals they live and interact on the grassland ecosystem. So, hi, Malik. Where is Malik? Hi, Malik. I just wanted to answer. You can answer, ya habibti. Tell me, who lives? Who else lives on the grassland? Grassland. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Bears, maybe even deers or oxes. Excellent. Very good. That's right. Thank you. So. We talked all about the ecosystems that, or the types of ecosystems and how they have different lifestyle, different needs and different uh, living things who live there, different non-living things, what they make them. Very good, very good, very good. That was everything for today. What I want from you guys is to revise with me one more thing i'm going to put the picture for you and i want you to tell me what is it about okay very good All right, now, if I have the same group of animals, like a group of lion, what do I call this group of lion, yeah, Jada? Population. Populations, excellent. Hi, Adori. What about different kinds or different types of animals in one place, in one group? Community. A community, excellent, excellent. Hi, Aline, what if it was only one, one species or one living thing? What do I call the only one or, single living thing? Organism. Excellent, organism, well done. Hi, Abatul, if all the living and non-living in one place and they are interacting with each other, what do I call them? What miss? Oh, the living. Miss, can you just give me one second? Of course, Abby. Of course, your mom. And um, yes. All the living and non-living thing in one place, they interact with each other. What do I call it? Uh, community. Uh, uh, I mean, eco. Ecosystem. Excellent, yeah, Gilby. Excellent. It's an ecosystem. Okay, girls, I'm going to open the mic. Tell me if you have any questions. Yes. Okay? Okay. Do you have any question before we leave? After this class, we have a break. Yes, you have a break. We have a break. So, do you have any question, Habibi? Yes, I have a question. Yes, I have a question. 
Yes, please ask me. Uh, can you go uh, to page, uh, I think, 156? Okay, and? Uh, miss, uh, because, um, um, Dania, um, Dania, can you open your mic? Uh, I'll see the yes, open. Okay, Dania, I have you Miss, I will, I will. Miss, I'm saying yeah. something. And you are who? Who are you? Who's talking? Lamar, I'm just, but before you say Dania, I was talking. I did not hear your voice is too low, Lamar. Can you raise your voice, Adibi? Okay, then. Okay, then. After, Let's open the page after, for the half hour. Yes, Lamar? After, after, after Dania, 